Have you ever wondered what's causing that itchy, scaly rash on your skin? It might just be a common fungal infection known as tinea. Tinea, more commonly known as ringworm, is a pesky foe that can appear on various parts of the body, causing distinct symptoms and signs depending on its location. But don't let the name fool you, there are no worms involved. Rather the name comes from the characteristic circular rash that forms on the skin. When tinea takes up residence on the scalp or hair, it's called tinea capitis. This condition often appears as scaly, itchy, and red areas on the scalp. It's not uncommon for the hair in these areas to break off, leaving bald patches. In contrast, when tinea invades the feet, it's known as tinea pedis or athlete's foot. This form of tinea tends to cause itching, stinging, and burning between the toes or on the soles of the feet. You might even notice blisters or ulcers. Then there's tinea corporis, which affects the body. This is your classic ringworm, with red, circular, and flat sores that can be itchy and scaly. Often there's a clear area in the middle of the sore, giving it a ring-like appearance. Tinea cruris or jock itch targets the groin area causing a red, itchy, and often ring-shaped rash. Tinea manuum affects the hands causing a thickening or scaling of the skin. Now you might be wondering, how does one get tinea in the first place? The culprit is a group of fungi known as dermatophytes. They love to live in warm, moist environments like the insides of your shoes or the areas between your toes. They can also spread from person to person so sharing towels or clothing can put you at risk. To recap, tinea is a fungal infection that can appear on various parts of the body, causing a range of symptoms from itching and scaling to blisters and ulcers. The condition is named differently depending on its location. Tinea capitis for the scalp, tinea pedis for the feet, tinea corporis for the body, tinea cruris for the groin, and tinea manuum for the hands. Remember these fungi love warm moist environments and can spread from person to person, so keep those areas dry and avoid sharing personal items to reduce your risk. It's important to recognize the signs of tinea to ensure proper treatment. If you're experiencing persistent skin issues, it's always a good idea to consult a healthcare professional. They can provide a definitive diagnosis and outline the best course of treatment. Thanks for tuning in and remember knowledge is the best medicine.